ashver.com Hello and welcome to ashver.com. You are watching an interesting and informative video on preventive measures for Ebola virus. Please read the disclaimer carefully. About the virus. Ebola virus, a member of the family Filiviridae, causes an acute systemic febrile illness associated with high mortality. Structurally, the virus appears as an 8100 nanometer elongated filamentous particle, with surface projections or peplomas. Every, every single virus particle or virion contains a copy of linear, negative sense, single-stranded RNA with a helical nucleocapsid and a lipid envelope derived from the host cell plasma membrane. The virus is stable, and remains infectious for prolonged periods at room temperature. It can be dissed by heat. 60 degrees Celsius, 30 minutes, and lipid solvents. It is a biosafety level 4 pathogen, and requires maximum biological containment facilities. Key Facts Ebola virus disease, formerly called as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, is a severe, often fatal illness in humans. Ebola virus disease outbreaks occur primarily in remote villages of Central and West Africa, near tropical rainforests. Virus is Virus is transmitted to people from wild animals, and spreads in the human population through human-to-human -human transmission. Fruit bats of the family Pteropodidae are considered to be the natural hosts of Ebola virus. Severely ill patients require intensive supportive care. No life-specific treatment or vaccine is available for use in people or animals. Avoid link to areas of known outbreak. Find out about current epidemics by checking the CDC website. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub containing at least 60% alcohol, to avoid contracting infections of any sort. Avoid bush meat. If you are in an area of suspected outbreak, avoid buying or eating meat sold in local markets. Avoid contact with infected people, who are most infectious in the later stages of the disease. Follow infection control procedure, barrier nursing. If you are a healthcare worker, wear protective clothing such as gloves, masks, gowns and eye shields. Isolate the infected people. Dispose of used needles and sterilize up. The recent Ebola outbreak. Since February this year, Ebola virus disease cases have been appearing simultaneously in three different countries of West Africa Sierra Leone, Freetown, Liberia, Monrovia, Guinea, Conakry, and now in Nigeria also. The epidemic has already reached its, already reached its peak in Sierra Leone, where now the cases are on a decline. Two U.S. missionaries Dr. Kent Brantley and M's Nancy Wright Ball were detected of Ebola infection and airlifted from Liberia to a specialist isolation unit in Atlanta, for treatment. Cross-continent air travel, rapid spread of disease and lack of any specific treatment or vaccines, is the major cause of concern about this disease. Ebola first appeared in 1976 in two simultaneous outbreaks in Sudan and Democratic Republic of Congo. The latter was in a village situated near the Ebola River, from which this disease got its name. Ebola virus has five subtypes, named after the places from where they were isolated. 1. Bundi Bajia Ebola virus. 2. Zaire Ebola virus. 3. Sudan Ebola virus. 4. Reston Ebola virus. 5. Typhorist Ebola virus. The strain from the current epidemic, known as the Zaire strain is the death. Transmission of virus. Ebola is primarily a zoonotic disease, with animals being the natural reservoirs of the virus. Handling of infected chimpanzees, gorillas, fruit bats, monkeys, forest antelopes and porcupines, found ill or dead in the rainforests can spread the infection to humans. Ebola spreads in the community through human-to-human -human transmission, with infection resulting from direct contact, through broken skin or mucous membranes, with the blood, body secretions, 
organs or other bodily fluids of infected people, and indirect contact with environment contaminated with such fluids. You can contract Ebola disease, if the infected person sneezes on you, that is, you are in immediate proximity, and also if you get in touch with the patient's sweat, who is perspiring profusely. Who are at risk, and how to suspect them being infected? Travelers to Africa, especially tourists to certain caves in Central Africa and underground mine workers can contract infection from waste products and excreta of animals. Scientists conducting research on animals. People butchering or people butchering or eating infected animals. Family members or contacts of patients. Medical and healthcare personnel while treating patients with Ebola virus disease. This occurs through close contact with patients, when infection control not strictly practiced. There is no evidence to show spread by insect bites. Ebola virus is pantropic, with viral replication taking place in almost all the organs. Initial symptoms are nonspecific, and include fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache and sore throat. This is followed by vomiting, diarrhea, impaired kidney and liver functions. The most reliable feature is the appearance of a non-itchy maculopapular rash, that begins on the face and neck and spreads centrifugally to the extremities. In severely ill patients, chest pain, cough, gastric upset, bleeding from eyes and other orifices, bruising and internal bleeding can occur. Worst complications being sepsis and multi or sequelae during recovery. Recovery is slow. It may take months to regain weight and strength, and the virus may remain in the body for weeks. The late complications include hair loss, sensory changes, weakness, fatigue, diagnostic tests to detect the virus, antibody capture release or antigen detection tests serum neutralization test reverse transcriptase PCR assay electron microscopy virus isolation by cell culture samples from patients are an extreme biohazard risk, testing should be conducted under maximum virological containment conditions. Additional protective measures Healthcare personnel, when handling copious amounts of blood, other body fluids, vomit or feces, should follow additional preventive measures, that include Double gloving Disposable shoe covers Leg coverings to avoid any contact with infected secretions A new serum raises hope for cure an experimental serum known as ZMAZMAB, which had only been previously tested on monkeys, is a ray of hope to bring a cure to the dangerous virus. ZMAB is one of the new class of drugs called the monoclonal antibodies, that use uniquely manufactured proteins to prevent the Ebola virus from infecting new cells. This class of drugs has also been used successfully to treat certain cancers. Thank you for watching this video. This channel offers motivational, inspirational, valuable and informative videos to soothe, cleanse and inspire your health, mind, body and spirit. You can find lot of interesting videos on wide range of topics here, stay tuned and keep watching.